Hey folks, uh, just going to show you today how to take your MPC and use your CV outputs to sync to, in this case it's going to be Pamela's new workout, but basically so you can send some gates. I personally have my outputs color coded from red to, I don't know, brown or gray, so that I can know which one is the first, second, third, and fourth. So I've got a, uh, this red cable here is my CV1. So in this case, what I've done is, you might not be able to see it super clearly, but I have created a track and I've set it to CV for outputs. I'm gonna turn the CV port off and put the gate port as CV1 so that I can get an output. And effectively to get the sta most stable clock, you wanna send as many gates as possible. So what I'm going to do is do a note repeat of 1 64th for, so I'm gonna be creating a whole bunch of gates. I could do triplets if I wanted to even be more accurate. But anyway, the intent here is I'm just gonna create a two bar loop. I'm gonna hold down note repeat and just a note, and I'm gonna let this record off for the two bars. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna keep letting it play. And I'm gonna make a few adjustments here and show you some, some things that might happen. But let me move the camera up to Pamela's new workout. Ah, uh, boy, here we go. Hopefully that'll stay put. So you can see here, I've got the CV out from the MPC coming to the clock input. And what I've done, if I hold the button down, I've got the PPQN set to uh, 16. You can see here it says unstable. And this is just because the MPC is not totally sending the most consistent gates as far as I can tell. But if I go back to here, you can see from the BPM, it's 96, it's pretty locked in. So for me, I'm not too worried about it. And if I go down, I can drop the BPM and it will stay in sync pretty well. So you can see I'm already down to 65 BPM. I can go all the way down to 20 on the MPC and it catches up. It says 21, it'll get synced up. Part of the problem here is because it's just, those gates are changing. So it just takes a little bit for it to sync up, but it is getting all of those gate notes. The problem I've been seeing is if you go much up above about 130, you'll start seeing that the number bounces around. So I'm scrolling up to 125. You'll see it's uh, settled down. It's going bouncing between 124 and 126 a little bit here. So it's telling me that the clock isn't perfectly stable here, but I don't think that it's off by that much that it's causing a huge problem. Overall, it's going to stay in sync. However, the, as I start getting up to like 140, you'll see it's just bouncing around a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, if you get up into the 200s, it's right now I'm set at 210. It's swinging between about two BPM. So it's going down, you can see it's going down to about 208 and up to 211 or so. Personally, I think that this is averaging out to be correct over time, but we're just seeing some of those inconsistencies. If I go all the way up, I can go up to 300, but then it won't work quite as well as you think. If I go to 290, you can see it's going down to 287 and up to 291. Anyway, I, I just want to show you, A, this is how you keep these in sync and that they're not going to be perfectly matched to the BPM that you have on your MPC. Um, for specific beats, but over time, I do see it that it works correctly. I'm going to do a blog post to kind of show the math, and I think you'll see that this really isn't that much of a problem either. But anyway, if you're just looking how to set this up, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Take it easy. Bye.